हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल भूमि वर्ल्ड होप एवरीवन इज़ डूइंग ग्रेट इन अ लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट स्टॉप शेप इफ़ यू हैव एंड वॉच माय लास्ट वीडियो प्लीज गो ऑन चेक इट आउट नो सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट नोटिफाई शेप वॉट इज़ नोटिफाई शेप हाउ टू कॉन्फिगर नोटिफाई शेप ऑन भूमि सो फर्स्ट वी कैन सी वॉट इज़ नोटिफाई शेप so notify shape is used to build customized execution logs and send customized notification messages to your subscribed email alerts or rss feeds so these notifications can be either static messages or dynamic messages like however you configure messages on message shape similar way we need to configure notifications on notify shape with the help of static and dynamic parameter values so notify shape creates one or more notifications for each process execution at the document level and one more important point notify shape does not alter your data so however you got data from previous shape the same data notify shape sent to the next shape so it does not alter any data notify shape does not send email alerts to subscribers when the process runs in test mode so this is about notify shape so now we can look how to configure notify shape on boomi so this is the process which we already created on our previous videos if you haven't watch our previous videos please go and check it out now so now i'm dragging the notify shape to the build mode so this is the notify shape so here you need to configure notify shape so as i said this is the notify shape definition to write user defined notifications to the process logs for monitoring and troubleshooting purpose use the notify shape optionally you can also generate events that can be received via email alerts rss feeds and the platform api notification messages can include a combination of static content and dynamic variables the notify shape does not modify document data so now we can look how to configure notify shape so this is the display name if you want to give any name for display purpose you can give otherwise leave as it is and next we have title suppose if you are sending customized email alerts or information to the subscribers that email alerts want some title right so that title you want to give it here so i am providing title as notify shape demo okay and after that we have options called message level so the message level is information warning and error so if you want to send process information or any other related information you can choose information if you want to generate warning related alerts you can choose warning if you want to send any error messages to the subscribers you can choose error so that is based on your requirement you can choose anything whatever you want and message so how your subscribers want message on which format it is so that message format you need to construct here hello everyone the process execution got completed thank you so this is how you can send information message mails to your subscribers okay and uh, here we have variables option so as i said you can construct message with the help of static and dynamic variables 
so by using variables property you can choose those values so process got completed so the process which process it is so if you want to populate process name process here i'm planning to send process name that is our process name is demo one right so i'm selecting one the process demo one execution got completed thank you so that's what i'm planning to send to subscribers so here we passed variable value right so here we need to select those variables so that process name will get from execution property parameter value so the type should be execution property under execution property you can see multiple properties like account id atom id atom name document count execution id node id process id process name so now we are planning to send process name right so we can select process name suppose in email alerts if you want to send account id you can send account id so what is this account id for each and every boomi account there is a one specific unique id will be there so that is account id if you select this account id that unique value will populate so for each and every atom there will be a one unique id so if you want to populate that unique id you can select atom id if you want to populate atom name i mean on which atom it is running this process is running you can select atom name if you want to send document count which means how many documents got passed through this process you can select document count execution id so execution is nothing but the you are testing the process right so the testing the process is called execution so for each and every execution there will be a one unique id so if you want to know what is that execution id you can select this execution id so similar way node id and then process id and then process name so for each and every process there will be a process id node id and then process name unique names so you can select that as per your requirement so now i'm planning to send process name right so i'm selecting process name and then clicking on ok so this process name will populate here okay so this is how you need to declare variables and after that we have some options so generate platform events so if this is selected the notification is sent as an email alerts to subscribers the event type is user dot notification if you select this write to local atom user log the notification is logged in the base log folder of the local atom suppose if you are running your process with the local atom the process logs will store under atom directory local atom directory under logs folder so these user logs are available only for local atoms it will not available on cloud atoms and next option write once per execution so if this checkbox is selected individual log entries or event messages that are generated per document that reaches the notify shape are aggregated and written only once so this is how we need to configure notify shape so now we can test the process to see the results i am unselecting this message shape and attaching to notify shape after that i am connecting this notify shape output to the stop shape i am saving the process and i am testing the process now see at notify shape you can see message shape output so however you configured on message shape so the same data you can see here so after that at the notify shape you can see logs as well so for the parameter one i mean for variable one we declare to populate the process name right so if you see here parameter one value got populated with demo one because this is the process name 
so this is how you can look into logs so we can see final output after notify sheet see the same data whatever we configured on message shape it's appeared at the end of the process which means notify shape does not alter any data whatever data you got from previous shapes it will pass same data to the next step without touching the data okay so this is the notify shape to get the email alerts you need to configure your email address your email address in the setting page email alerts tab yeah that's it for today's video hope this video will help you to understand what is notify shape and how to configure the notify shape on boomi if you like my video please like share and subscribe to our youtube channel and please don't forget to click the bell icon so that you will get all notifications whenever i post the video thank you all see you in my next video until then bye bye